Hi, my name is Shrey and today I'll be explaining question one from Lead Code's most recent competition, 198. Question one is water bottles and it gives you an input integer of num bottles. It gives you an exchange rate, which is the number of empty water bottles you can switch out for one full water bottle. And it expects you to return the maximum number of water bottles that you can drink. So given these diagrams, let's just go straight into example one and example two. So in example one, they give you nine full water bottles to start off with. Because the exchange rate is three, once you finish drinking those nine water bottles, you can switch out three empty water bottles for one full water bottle, three empty for one full, and three empty for one full. In this case, you're not left with any remainder. We'll be looking at that in example two. So now you have three full water bottles which you can drink. And your total right now is 12. Once you drink those three full water bottles, you can switch out the three empty water bottles for one full water bottle. And finally, when you drink that last full water bottle, you're left with one empty water bottle. And now because the number of bottles is less than the exchange rate, you have to break out of whatever type of loop you use. So the total of that would just be 13. And that's the number you would return. So that's a pretty straightforward example, um, not dealing with any remainders. So let's go to example two, where there are remainders. So you're initially given with 15 full water bottles. Because the exchange rate is four empty water bottles for one full water bottle, you can switch out four empty for one full. Four empty for one full. Four empty for one full. And finally, you're left with three empty water bottles and you don't have enough to get another full water bottle. So you carry that over as a remainder. So you have three full water bottles and three empty bottles right now. So we would add three because that's the number you can drink. Once you drink those three full water bottles, you're now left with six empty water bottles because you carried that remainder over. Out of those six, you can switch four of the empty water bottles for one full water bottle and you'll have two left over. Finally, you're left with three empty water bottles and now you don't have enough because the number of bottles is less than the exchange rate. So you would break out of the loop and return this answer, 19. So that's the um, quick solution to this problem and I'll just quickly and I'll quickly be explaining it in pseudocode. So the first thing you need is you need some sort of variable which you'll return in the end. I call that sum and you initially set sum to the number of bottles which they give you. As shown here, you have to use some sort of loop um, to get the number of bottles to be less than the exchange rate. So you say while the number of bottles is greater than or equal to the exchange rate. We will execute the code in the while loop. So in the while loop, the first thing we need is we need to see if there's a remainder and we need to store that to a variable. So I just said mod um, equals the number of bottles, mod the exchange rate. That's pretty straightforward. And after that, I divided the number of bottles by the exchange rate. So num bottles divide equals exchange rate. And once you divided it, now you can add the num bottles to your sum. So sum plus equals num bottles. And finally, as shown in example two, if you have a remainder left over, you just have to add that back to the number of bottles you have. So num bottles plus equal mod. Eventually, when the number of bottles is less than the exchange rate, it will break out of this loop. And finally, you return sum. 
or whatever your variable you called it. So that's the entire solution to this question, both in a diagram and in pseudocode. So if this video helped you in any way, please leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Thanks and I'll see you in the next video.